for this. Joe doesn't know yet, but I guess I'll tell him now. Hiya! We're gonna play Hawaii trivia. Oahu is the third largest island, true or false? Better make it quick. This is sizzling. Hawaii is one of two US states that do not observe daylight savings time. The other state is, don't get too crazy. Figured out where the nearest hospital was. I think we might have to shave her head. <laughs> Somebody help my husband. Cheers. Oh, oh boy. boy. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the Char and Joe show. I'm Charlene. I'm Joe. And we believe that when you laugh and have fun together, you strengthen your relationship, relieve stress, and bring more joy into your life. We want this series to take away the chore of planning a fun date and give you easy ideas that you can recreate at home with your loved one. So it's always nice to take a walk down memory lane and this episode is inspired by our honeymoon when we went to Hawaii. Yeah. So we actually went to the Dole Pineapple Plantation and there they had chocolates made of pineapple, coffee, teas, so many things. So I thought that I would make one of my easy fried rice recipes and do a fun twist on it with pineapples and add some bacon. So I'm hungry, let's get started. Joe, tell us all what we have here. Well, it looks like we have rice, <laughs> mixed vegetables, ham, turkey bacon, <laughs> turkey bacon. So guys, you can use regular um, bacon, ham, whatever you want. I don't like ham. I do like bacon, but I thought it'd be a little easier to do turkey bacon. Turkey bacon, Oni chopped onions, green onions. Yes. Uh, looks like some oil, soy sauce, honey, garlic powder. Yep. Granulated garlic. Fresh pineapple, a bowl, a knife, a knife, and a cutting board. Yes. And a hot. What is it? A hot pan? Yeah, a hot pan. And uh, we were using um, a cooker thing. What do you call it? A hot plate. Hot plate. Yeah, we're using a hot plate and make sure it's a really big container because this is going to be a lot of rice. It's actually two cups of rice cooked. And a spoon. Yes, stir everything together. And so for this, Joe doesn't know yet, but I guess I'll tell him now. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> so you can use regular pineapple from a can, but I wanted to make Joe's life a little harder. No, no, no. I wanted to do like what? this cool idea that I saw on Pinterest where they make the pineapple into a bowl. So since we do need pineapple in this recipe, let's not waste it. Hmm. And for presentation reasons, I think it's gonna look really cool. We're going to use our pineapple as a bowl. Um, thing is, hmm. I'm not planning on cutting it. Well, how do you? <laughs> so you're gonna need to cut this pineapple in half. The long way? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you gotta scoop it out, or what? scoop it out, or cut it out. We'll figure it out as we go. I didn't really think it through that far. All right. Ready? <laughs> do we cut the top off? No. <laughs> They gotta leave the top on. <laughs> That's what I saw online. Wow, I got a sharper knife. <laughs> Should I grab a sharper knife? I don't know if you have one. I don't want no one cutting them, getting cut today. Like, injured. Oh. oh no. That wasn't a knife, that was the leaves. I think the leaves are sharper than the knife. Oh wow. Has anyone here ever cut through a pineapple like that? Probably not. Whoa. Wow, so it worked. Ready? <laughs> yeah. 
There we go. It's not as hard as you made it seem. Well, there you go. Those are one our bowls. For you, one for me. So now you gotta get some pineapples pieces out of there. Do these bowls need to be waterproof? Uh, I think extra juice should be fine. We can always drain it out, I guess. So I'm just slicing it up in one direction here and then I might slice it the other direction and then try to scoop them out. What do you guys think? I think I did a pretty good job. So what we, we actually grabbed another bowl. Um, Charlene didn't want the hard pieces and the mushy stuff, so that's in here. I'll eat that later and make a smoothie, a, a dole whip. Dole whip, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> and then um, these other chunks, I think she's gonna chop them up a little smaller. We're gonna put these one for you, or are they both for me? <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> um, we're gonna put these in the fridge to keep them a little fresher. All right, we'll use them later. So I'm gonna cut these a little smaller. So how do you guys know if a pineapple is ready to eat? I don't know. I go by if you can smell it. So if you pick it up and you can smell the pineapple, the sweet pineapple smell, it's ready to go. Doesn't it always smell? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the other way to know is do what we did and cut it open and eat it. <laughs> yeah, that's a surefire way to know if something's Then right. you'll know if it's ripe or not. If it's not, then you'll have to buy another one. So it's two hours later and Charlene's got these things chopped up into smaller pieces. Yeah, that did take a long time, not two no. hours. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna be the one cooking and I will tell you what to do. Let's go. All right, first you are going to put some oil in this pot or pan. Ready? Is it that hot? I don't think so. All this? Yeah. We're gonna be frying up our turkey bacon and our green onions. Ready? Go. While we're waiting for this to cook, we're gonna play Hawaii trivia. Yay! That wasn't exciting. Yay! <laughs> woo, woo, woo. All right, so I'm gonna go first. Whoa. <laughs> that just blew um, up. Uh, so, my question is a true or false question, and it is a Hawaii ge geography question. Geography? Charlene's favorite subject. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, of the big islands, Oahu is the third largest island, true or false? Oahu. Is the third largest island. Uh, that's hard because it's like if it was the largest, then it would be easier to make a decision. But third largest is like so specific. True. True? Yeah. What do you guys think? You're right. So for most of you know, most of you know that. Hawaii, the big island, is the biggest. But then, even though Oahu is one of the more popular islands, it's not as big as Maui. So Maui, it goes Oahu. Oahu is the third largest. Yeah. Then Maui, and then the big island's the biggest. So gotcha. Charlene was right. Are you ready for your question? Better make it quick. This is sizzling. Okay. Hawaii is one of two U.S. states that do not observe daylight savings time. The other state 
is A, Alaska, B, Arizona, or C, Maine? Hmm. My instinct was Alaska at first, but I I don't know if that's right. I feel like it's I feel like it's one of the 48, lower 48. And for some reason, I'm thinking Arizona. But I don't know why. So I'm gonna go with Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you to see what I said. What? You saw what I said? What did you say? I was telling everyone the answer. What? You think you're correct. You were telling everyone the answer? Yeah. When? I was whispering it to them. No, you weren't, were you? I was mouthing it to them. What was it? Well, do you think you're correct? Yeah. And you are correct. Wow. <laughs> I wanted to build up a little bit of tension. I really didn't see her whisper. <laughs> Smells really good. It's just the wet. This is looking pretty good, and I think it's time to add our rice in. So we're gonna add all of this in okay. and stir it around a little bit. Scoop it in. Sure. We're gonna add a ton of soy sauce. I'll tell you when. One. I'll tell you when. All right, I think that might be okay. That wasn't that much. We'll see how it is. We might add more. Stir it up and we'll see where we're at. Because the soy sauce is what adds the flavor, but you don't want to put your veggies in until you get all the soy sauce in. Otherwise, when you put soy sauce on vegetables towards the end of making fried rice, it makes the vegetables look all brown, and you want to keep them nice and green, and colorful, and bright. You want the rice to soak them up, not the veg. Exactly. Hold my wand. Don't get too crazy. Good. Sure. So now you're going to add your vegetables. And these are frozen mixed vegetables. I just microwaved it for a few minutes so that they're ready to add into the rice. So really easy. Woo. Now dump all the pineapple in and then we're gonna add the last two ingredients, some honey and garlic powder. We're gonna squeeze some honey. I'll tell you when. Who doesn't like honey? Add a little sweetness. All right, that's good. And then we are going to add a sprinkle of garlic powder. Why are you so high up? That's what they told us to do in the cooking class we took one time. Oh. Do your stuff from up high so, so the wind takes it. Wind. <laughs> <laughs> so that it doesn't fall on the same piece, I guess. So. All right, this is looking good. So this is a dinner for two. <laughs> we're, gonna have we're gonna have some leftovers, obviously, but since we have those nice bowls, we needed enough rice to fill it up. Mm. But of course, we will have leftovers. I think we have time to do a quick game, let things cool down a little bit, and then we can eat. Sound good? Sounds good. So this one is called Headbanger. Oh boy. So I know we've played a lot of games like competitions and trivia competitions, but this one, we're gonna work together. So you place a cup 20 
<clears throat> inches away from a ball on a table using your heads wait a minute using your heads and faces not mouth pick the ball up and drop it into the cup you have 30 seconds measuring tape we don't right on the crack we want to be fair i guess no we want to be fair for sure <laughs> ready yeah go all right Thirty seconds. That seems like no time at all. Go, 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 go. Fifteen, Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. We use our eye socket. <laughs> or I use my eye socket. <laughs> I use mine too. <laughs> Do you want to try it one more time and see how quick we can be? If we can beat our high score. Sure. All right. So the last one was fifteen seconds. Let's see if we can beat that. Ready? Set. Seven point two two seconds. Yes. It's probably a little faster, but I'll bleed on the stoppage. We've stepped up our game. All right, guys, you got to try to beat that new score. Seven point two two seconds. Well, I'm hungry. Let's get our rice plated up and dig in. All right, we're back. I bought a new pineapple for Charlene so that she has a chance to cut it into bowls. You ready? Yeah. All right, go ahead and cut it. Hiya! Wow! Yay! Who would have known Charlene had those skills? I know, right? <laughs> All right, so there's a bowl for you and a bowl for me. Mm. All right, so we're pretty happy with how this turned out, right? Yeah, it was really yummy. Yeah, so definitely my first time eating out of a pineapple. Definitely the first time making a pineapple bowl. I think it's a great date night idea. Make sure to check down below for the recipe. Also for links. Not your hat though. Um, we won't have a link for that. Why is that? Yeah, so I put this hat on because there's a story behind it. We ended up buying it like two o'clock in the morning on our honeymoon. What happened was we had rented an Airbnb and I wanted to check out the hot tub. So um, I started going out the door and Charlene was, you know, come, finishing a few things and coming right behind me. And I, as I was going out, I said, don't forget the key because I don't have it. And so we get halfway down to the hot tub and, and I turn around and I'm like, you don't have the key, do you? <laughs> I didn't hear the part <laughs> when he said, bring the keys. And uh, so we walked back, the, sure enough, the door was locked, couldn't get back in. So I went around to check to see if the window was open. And uh, that's when the drama started to happen. Yeah, so. so he went around to check the window and I was trying to figure things out, like what else I could do. And I thought maybe I'd go help him around the other side as well. And so I thought to just take a quick shortcut, what I thought was a shortcut. Instead, I found myself underneath a iron stairwell and I ended up coming up too quickly, hit the top of my head Ouch. and actually it didn't really hurt. I just kind of felt this hot, warm stuff like, and then when I looked at my hand, I saw that it was blood yeah, pouring. So. So, yeah, so she had that realization as she's coming around the corner. I'm looking at the window and she's yell yelling my name at this point, Joe, Joe. And I was, and I turned around and she's got blood running down her face. So my first thought was like, oh my gosh, she got shot or something. So we ended up getting a hold of our Airbnb host. He was able to let us in. We, you know, tried to stop the bleeding a bit and then figured out where the, nearest hospital was and we started driving and it actually ended up way up in the hill because the nearest hospital wasn't actually the closest <laughs> like driving wise it was the nearest to our location but for whatever reason google wanted us to go to that hospital and um 
And although it looked like a little bit of a scene out of a horror movie, because it was really dark and one little lamp shining down, door was open, it didn't look like anybody was there. Yeah, it was a weird um, hospital. But anyways, it, it turned out fine. She got a couple staples in her head. Yeah, while they were doing so. the staples, I heard the doctor and the nurse kind of whispering, I think we might have to shave her head. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like... Yeah, so thank, thankfully that didn't happen. But um, long story short, by the time we got back down, we, we had to buy some Advil or something. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, we got that hat to help cover the, the scar. So... The reason why I got this hat is because the next day we actually had planned to go snorkeling and I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to go and the the team was like felt bad for me um, that was taking us out on the boat and she's like well you know what you don't have to put your head underwater and you should definitely come and I'm like okay well I need to cover this yeah, whole so situation. She, so she wore the hat but then eventually she did get in the water they convinced her to I think they stacked up a couple life jackets and one of those boards with the view viewfinder in it and she was able to get in the water and see some stuff so I was really happy that she got to experience some of it and the people were really nice definitely worth doing snorkeling in Hawaii and it, surprisingly it was the first time like I've never broken a bone had stitches anything like that and that was the first time I had like the major accident it just happened to be on my honeymoon of all times yeah so hopefully your adventures are a little more safe and um, if you have a honeymoon, hopefully it's not as eventful like that as ours, but at the same time, it's, it was a good memory. Yeah, I really liked going down memory lane, and let's not forget what happened to you on the plane. Yeah, I also fainted on the plane <laughs> coming in to Hawaii, woke up in another seat with like four people in my face, so that was, that was fun too. Yeah, I remember <laughs> just screaming, somebody help my husband! He fainted and I felt like I was in a movie and I'm screaming like a crazy person, but he turned out okay. He's actually I'm still alive. He's still alive. <laughs> Everything worked out. We had a really good vacation otherwise. So make sure you guys subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Oh, oh boy. boy. <laughs> Someone's on cleanup duty. See you guys later.